hood had moderate to high disease susceptibility with variable size and mid-season fruiting. It was relatively soft compared to Mary's Peak, but very attractive colored. The fruit was mostly hidden inside the canopy. The cap appearance was attractive and stayed about half the time. Puget Crimson has moderate late harvest powdery mildew, particularly on later picks of fruit. Its harvest timing is later than Hood's. The fruit has good firmness but gets dark colored and whining tasting when left on the plant too long. It has good flavor when picked at peak ripeness when it's a bright red color. The variety has large fruit size with a conical shape. Mary's Peak had a little less moderate tolerance to powdery mildew compared to hoods planted in the same plot. The medium to large fruit had a consistently later season fruiting pattern than hood, though yields appeared higher than hood. This fruit was exceptionally firm with very attractive coloring. Its cap appearance is similar to hood in that it flips up. Flavor profile was excellent in sweetness and intensity, and it was good to excellent in color, but had some slight white veining inside of the fruit. This fruit has the most flavor at its very ripe stage versus Puget Crimson, which tastes too overripe at a similar wine color stage of fruit. Charm had moderate disease tolerance with half the plant showing symptoms. The fruit pattern was very consistent. All the fruit could be picked in one to two pickings. Fruit size was medium but quite variable. Fruit was relatively soft compared to hood, though skin color was very attractive. Fruit had an adequate cap appearance, though it capped very easily, which isn't ideal for fresh picking. Fruit was available on the outer sides of the plants for easier picking access than hood. The fruit taste was sweet, but almost watery flavored. The centers of many fruit had somewhat hollow, whitish cones.